Hello well, everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I have done no kind of preparation or checking on things, but when we last left off, we had basically opened up the world. Uh, so, shall we try problem thing number one that's going to get us killed? Yes, I decided to go this way instead of the other way. I'm insane, I know. Uh, let's see, are we really prepared for this? Not really, but we'll make it work. I hope. I should have done some off-screen grinding. Now that we've, uh, you know, we're starting to unlock things. And of course, this door is unlocked, so we can get back here now. So you may be wondering what's back here. Aside from these guys. You know what, let me just scram. I want to see if I can manage this. This isn't going to go well, by the way. I have no zero altercations in my mind about how this is going to go. I know exactly how this is going to go. Well, since you came up first, you get a Thundaga. Anyone who knows this game knows what's back here. And if you don't know, well, you're about to find out. Oh, look, a summoning orb. Now, I'm under no impression that I can actually do this. But we are most certainly going to try. Also, Lena does have the gold here. Yes, okay. Oh, everyone's low on MP. Wow, why did I... I didn't heal between episodes either, apparently. Um... Yeah, we'll just pop the ethers. That's fine. That'll work. Alright. So, for this... In particular... Actually, not jobs. We're actually going to change Kryle to Time Magic. Uh, might be a reason for that. <laughs> also, let's go ahead and pop uh, potions to fully heal. Yes, okay. Quick save one more time. Let's do this. Came here trying to best me, eh? A pity I don't have time to fight the likes of you. I could spare you, say, one minute. Still wanna rumble? Pretty confident, huh? One minute, and not a second more, got it? It's your funeral. Odin. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to haste to God. We need to haste to God. <laughs> also, I love the sped up version of the music. And, as if the enemies being weak to lightning here wasn't a hint, he is incredibly weak to lightning. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, that's your only hint. Oh, shoot. I forgot he did that, specifically. Oh, I'm healing him with that sword. That ain't good. Oh, wait, that was it! Oh! I missed the, the thing he said, but he said, all right, that's enough, or something like that. Oh, I did it. Did it. Yes. Nine seconds to spare. Oh. <laughs> and so we obtained the summon monster, Odin. Oh, he's not as difficult as he was in Final Fantasy 2 slash 4, but boy, is he still rough. Ah. Oh. I was holding my breath whenever he did Zantetsuke, and I was like, oh god, no. 
I forgot that that Zantetsuken doesn't kill you. It, it just damages you. Now, if you fail that, you can imagine what happens. But yeah, these guys being weak to lightning is actually, as far as I'm aware, the only real hint you get that he's weak to lightning. Now, he's not as weak to lightning as they are, but I don't remember if there's an, uh, an actual hint anywhere else in the game. But I find it really cool. I love the fact that they're, uh... Oh, I can just teleport. I forgot about that. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love that animation. Okay, that was worth it. Also, speaking of teleport, why did I just teleport out of here? Oh, I can't teleport out of here, because technically it's not a dungeon. Technically it's Castle Balls to- oh, I didn't mean to do that. I ran down the one hole I could actually go down. What are the odds? Anyway, so we got Odin. That is actually not something I expected to do today. Take a sip of coffee while teleport goes off. Mmm. Delicious. It's like a hundred and something degrees outside and I'm drinking coffee. I know I'm insane. I say it like that. I don't know if it's actually a hundred degrees, but it certainly feels like it's over a hundred degrees out there. It is so bloody hot. I spent five minutes out there uh, having my brother had ordered something and it came in and I was just overseeing them bringing it in. Uh, and... It, just stepping outside onto the porch for like five, ten minutes was the whole entire back of my neck is just, oh, It feels like I got sunburned in that short amount of time. I know I didn't, but God, does it feel that way. Anyway, now that we're fully healed, let's do another dumb thing. I forgot to research if the one dumb thing was possible to be done yet, but I can do the other dumb thing. <laughs> I don't want to do this. But we're going to. Who? Yeah, I, I prefer the old, uh, who. <laughs> now, the, the new music is fantastic, but... Well, that's right, I can't go in there as the Jugba. Hang on, I don't have to worry about that. Don't fly over that as the airship. It's not a point of no return, by the way. It just It's just annoying. A delay. A pointless delay. Alright, so. North Mountain is now surrounded by a desert. I have not gotten any new uh, equipment or items or anything. I should not be coming this way. But we're going this way anyway. Now, I'm not going to tell him. Okay, jerk. Just in case they're immune to one of those, or heal from one of those. Okay, neither. That's good. Bard's Master to equipped armor. Was that his last thing? Nope, he's got another one. Oh, is it equipped Night Swords? Because that would be so cool. Not that it's necessary, but that is actually really cool if they give you the equipped Night Swords. So, let's do this. This is a bad decision. This is every bad decision at once. So North Mountain, you might remember from the past. Still has the same treasure chests, still has the same enemies. Look, the Galakats. I'm not even gonna bother uh, doing anything but just auto-battling them. I wanna make sure everyone's set to attack. So, there was someone who met with us as we left, uh, as we left the pyramid. Someone who broke free of their seal and came and visited us and said they'd meet us here. You remember who that was, I'm sure. Yeah, that's what we're here for. And yet, it's just as terrible an idea as you think it is. 
There is one saving grace, though, and that saving grace is that he has a very, very big design flaw, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna hope... I hope that I've got this right, and I'm not mixing up with another game. Because... I'm going to attempt something that's probably going to... I don't know why I did that. I guess I just didn't want to get poisoned. That's what everyone else does. Rather than what I did the first time. Alright, so we're just gonna pop up. Got a tent, I guess. We probably don't even need it. We haven't really taken any damage or used any MP um, outside of float, which is gonna remove float, but that's fine. Alright. So, real quick, I need to do the reverse of what I did for him. Uh, for, 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 what's his face? Uh, Odin. And equip. White magic is my secondary. Also, Kyle's not full of MP. Wow, okay then. Let's eat another tent. There we go. So, the rope is still intact here. I mean, you still go up here. This is how big he is. You have broken the seal. If you can best me in battle, I shall award you my power. The Bahamut. Alright, so... If I'm not mistaken, Reflect will stop his ultimate attack. I could be deadly mistaken. He may just outright kill me. But I have to try. And we're going to just blast him with the strongest spells we have, which are going to be Thragas. I can him advance. I'm going to continue trying to Reflect and pray that it affects. Mystery Waltz is not going to do a lot, but take a little bit of his MP. I don't think that really how fix him, though. Atomic Ray. It does reflect Atomic Ray. That's hilarious. Okay, so if it doesn't reflect anything else, it reflects Atomic Ray, which is fantastic. Uh, reflect... Frost. It does not reflect Frost, though. Everyone alive has Reflect on, right? I gotta try this. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Mistakes were made! Reflect didn't last that long. Is it haste that made the reflect not last that long? I will breath. Lightning. Yeah, see, he... You don't outright shut him down with reflect like you used to be able to. But eventually he's going to get tired of this farce. I need to do, I need to do shell. I need to have shell. Okay. Unless this finishes him off, I'm pretty much done. Uh, speaking of pretty much done, that's a guarantee critical. And I think he's faster than I am. Yep. Okay. So, what I need to do is I need to shell everyone first. And then... 
Uh, well, I may not have to reflect. Reflect is... I guess if I have... Do I have a wall ring, actually? Hold up. Do I have a wall? I do have a reflect ring. Okay. If I put that on instead of the... Re if I put that on Lena... And the reason I do Lena is because of, uh... Lena's... Um... Let me send this. Okay. Yeah. Because that way, Cryo can have... Has haste and can... Do buffs. Okay, let's try that. My problem is I have to rewatch the cutscene. I don't know if I'm gonna throw myself at this too many times. I am slightly underprepared, but it'll be all right. So we're gonna hit shell. Shells up, maybe. There's Blaze. Blaze is fine. Blaze is annoying, but Blaze is fine. Oh, let's, uh. Also, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, he does have physical attack, doesn't he? Some good hits in. Come on now. He's reflected. No, he's not reflected. He's only shell. Okay. Let's give him Berserk. Mega Flare. So it does reflect Mega Flare. Okay. That's good because that hurts. Like the devil. And that's the secret to fighting him. Is to we're having someone with reflect so that Mega Flare doesn't kill you. And so that Mega Flare kills him, apparently. But Barts and Ferris ate that. They ate the floor. <laughs> but we won. And so now we have the summon monster Bahamut. Yep. So real quick, we're gonna raise everybody. And heal everybody, so that's the reason I didn't use a rise, because I needed to use uh, healing anyway. We're gonna switch to time magic. I cast teleport, get the heck out of here. Now, I don't remember if I can do the other thing on this desert, but we're going to try. So, before I do anything, before I actually run into something, I'm gonna actually float everybody. Okay.
wait, hold on. Land crawler. Hello. Okay, that works. That was the assassin's dagger triggering its the death. So yeah, this is the land crawler desert the Moogle that the Moogles were attached to. In case it wasn't obvious. So that's why he's not really that worth it, because he's just a normal, normal enemy in this world. Um, but yeah, that's why he's nothing special. He's just really strong for the time you fight him. Alright, everyone should be full. Yes, I don't think I really need it. There's nothing really dangerous here that I remember. Uh, but let's see if we can climb it. I don't remember the way up, by the way. I actually know very little about this dungeon. I don't do it very often. To be completely honest with you, even whenever I go through the dungeon, uh, or go through the game of me, I've not... I just don't remember anything about this dungeon outside of the, the whole thing is... Oh, Hermy Sandals! Okay... Um, since I forgot to unequip the Reflector Ring, let's go ahead and equip that now. Heck yeah. My apologies on that. I just had to speak with family for a moment. Uh, what's this I actually don't know the proper way through here. I think there's a proper way. Blood sword is nice and all, but it's really not helping me. Just put the ice brand, so at least maybe I can get a hit in. Problem with the blood sword is very inaccurate. Oh, apparently, that was the wrong way. Yep. Ow. Yeah, that's your punishment for... I remember now. Your punishment for, for uh, checking the wrong wall is you end up in a spinning mini-boss battle. I believe it still opens, though. Yeah, it does. Probably should save some potions since, uh... What's-her-face heals with them, but... So yeah, that's the gimmick of this area. Also, those are... Pots that have items in them. Monsters. Give me elixir. Give you elixir. I have a few. Why not? There you go. Yay, yippee! A hundred ability points. So yes, 
and you get a Phoenix down. If you give the Magic Pot the Elixir and he's sated, uh, he retreats and you get 100 ability points. Fighting a Magic Pot is possible, but boy is it not worth it. I'm not trying to think of what I want to do. I guess I'll use Meteor for a comment. I can technically scram, but I really need the EXP, so I'm actually trying to... Just go ahead and get what I can get. Reflect Ring, that's nice actually. I will gladly collect those. Just in case this is wrong. Oh no, that was right. Yay! No items here. Maybe in case this is wrong. It was right. Yay! I knew this was going to be wrong. Oh, hello, Liquid Flame. <laughs> it doesn't help that the enemies they've thrown at me through for, for touching the wrong wall has been very weak to one element or another that Black Mage could hit. <laughs> oh, I love it. Alright, so let's actually throw ourselves on Elixir. Get that MP up. I should have healed everyone else first, but it'll be okay. Oh, hey. Thousand Gil. And of course, this one over here is going to be another Magic Pot. We're aware. Oh, that was Blazaga. I single targeted it. Oh well. It killed it. That's the important part. And level up. Awesome. Hello, monsters. Hey, Magic Pot. I got. I'm gonna wait for it to say, Give me Elixir. Okay, give me Elixir. I think it's always Give me Elixir, but I wanted to be safe. Oh, yeah, you're also silenced, by the way. If you don't notice. Revive and equip ribbons. Again, I'm not arguing with uh, the free levels. Also, that means that <laughs> Chemist is mastered. So let's go back to Bard. Where's Bard at? I forgot where Bard is. Is that Bard not somewhere? Where's Bard? I think I had this problem the last time. Dancer. Oh, Bard's master. Right, right, right. I forgot about that. Uh... Huh. Hmm. Hmm. So, in that event, we're gonna end up having some crossover here. Uh, let's go to Red Mage. Now, there's no way that you're gonna master Red Mage, uh, unless I actually go out of my way to master Red Mage. I'm not going to. I don't, I, at least I don't think I'm going to. Um, but it will allow me to use Time Magic and Red Magic, so that's a fair, fair play. Fair play. And because you're still in the back row, can you equip it? Oh no, you can't. Okay. Well, apparently you're going to be in the front row. Well, actually, I plan on using your magic. Is there anything that boosts your magic? Dancing dagger does. Then you know what? Let's equip the dancing dagger. And let's equip the white row. Also, wait. What is? What about? What are you equipped with? Not jobs. But oh, I have two black rows. Okay. Red Mage is potentially the most uh, beneficial of the jobs for uh, Kryl to master at this point. Because if, for whatever reason, somehow I manage to master Red Mage on Kryl, dual cast is fantastic. So, uh, 
on. Yeah, we're gonna continue doing Comet, and everybody else should already be saved. Oh, I forgot to change Ferris. Uh, Ferris, Ferris, Ferris. Uh, Ferris is Master Dancer, so let's go to... We still have Geomancer we can use, and technically Kral has Beastmaster, but Beastmaster doesn't really offer anything at the moment. Keyword at the moment. There are times where I could use it. Uh, what would go good? I mean, Ninja would go good, but I don't really want to put Ninja on Ferris. Because that's just I'm trying to show off all the jobs. You know what? Let's go Samurai. Well, hold up. Would Samurai be good? I guess since since Bart says Ninja, I can give Ferris Samurai. We can do that. Now, Zinniage, uh... Zinniage is actually a uh, Gil Toss. Uh, yeah. And let's go Rapid Fire. Rapid Fire with a Katana, or no, with the Assassin's Dagger. Are you serious? Aha! That seems evil. And now, the Black Barb. Oh yeah, that's the... Uh, oh, but you need... You need... Um... I guess the Diamond Helm is the best thing you can wield. Where? Oh, okay. Uh, you need to be in the front, though, now. Oh wait, what about the Mirage Vest? Can you not equip the Mirage Vest? I guess what you did have. Ah, Mirage Vest. There we go. That was really weird having a, a dagger in a sand of a samurai, but okay. Alright. That's correct. I'm just gonna keep going to the left one. Just so we're clear. Floor 14. Wow, there's a lot of those fire ladies. You know what? Let's, uh... I didn't want to stop it. By comparison to Blazaga doing four times as much. Now granted, Lena does have the uh, thing that makes her its magic stronger. That front one was dead. If I'm gonna use elemental magic, I really need the uh for the rods. Yeah, there we go. We'll just do frost rod. Alright, what do we get to fight? Another soul cannon. Okay. Ow. Oh. Seems to have killed Barts. Let's swap over to you real quick. And Phoenix down Barts. And then. Proceed to obliterate the cannon. Just in case it survives, I'm gonna go ahead and cure it again. It did not. And 2000 XP. Awesome. Yep. Oh, look. Uh, yeah, actually, that might master Barts. Hold up, let's go over here. Oh, they swapped it on me, you dirty! I should have seen that coming, honestly. Alright, uh, Lusara, Willcast, Lazaga, Lazaga, that's a little better. There we go. Oh, they're not dead. No. He is dead. Also, no. Also, I forgot to heal. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. I'd say that at least once every episode, right? There we go. 
Master Minucci. What? Stuns any move with paralysis. Okay, that is actually a good move early on, by the way. If you get early samurai, that is a fantastic thing to have on, on hand. It's only single target, but it is not bad whatsoever. Why am I trying to cast magic with him? There we go. Now I'm not going to die in one hit, hopefully. Hey, magic bot. Yay, yippee! Have I gotten very lucky, or are these magic pots not ask for more? Also, Master Red Magic 1 and 2, Ferris got Zinyage and Shirahadori, and Bart's got Equip Swords. Nice. Alright, Bart's, you're done. Alright, so what's next? Um, could we go back to Monk? Or we could go Berserker. We could have to take him off of Berserker or cast Stop on him. But now, if you ever go back to this Berserker, you have to make sure that you don't. Uh, can I build on him? Hammers aren't that great. Oh, you know what? Let's just do it. Um, but yeah, if you're going to go Berserker, you have to make sure if you go to encounter a magic bot that you stop them in their tracks. Uh, stop is... Stop or slow. That way you can cast uh, Elixir very quickly. Um, also, Black Mage is mastered on Lena, so yeah, the next one's Summoner. Let's do it. Summoner dual cast. And Air Knife. I want Air Knife equipped. And there's a reason for that that we will get into. Give me back my gold hair. Oh, I have two gold hair. Wait a minute. I have two gold hair pens. Hold everything. I did not notice. When did I get the second gold hair pen? You need a gold hair pen. There we go. I don't know when I found that second gold hair pen, but we're going to go with it. Was it in the pyramid? People have been yelling at me through the screen. Seventeenth floor. So, uh, let's look at the summons we haven't used yet. We have Demon Eye. So let's cast Demon Eye. As it did to us, it just casts stone and leaves. Uh, fantastic. I, I actually love it. It has a very high accuracy. As long as the enemy's not immune, it's very likely to hit them. Did he just throw the hammer? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> also, we have Carbuncle Ruby Light. So what this is obviously that this does that you might never think of. But also, look, we get the cute little Carbuncle when we summon him. So I love it. We have our Radioactive Squirrel. And that does what you might get. Oh my god. Okay, it's worth it leaving the axe on it, but you see we all have Reflect. So, if you're fighting Bahamut, take a summoner with you. It should be obvious, but I didn't want to change jobs just for that one fight. But yeah, Reflect does kind of break it. The only downside is he doesn't have all of his attacks reflectable, so you do have to be bear that in mind. Um, be sure that you're ready to equip that. Having a chemist with you, like I did, is good because you can do... There's a mix that lets you make a Mega Potion, I think. Anyway, um... Since we're showing off summons, let's keep going. We have Sildra. Attacks all enemies with wind. Hold up a moment. Crowd just died. Let me fix that first. Let's raise, and then it will come down to summon and cast Sildra. Now, Sildra is very strong because of the wind dagger, or air knife, whatever you want to call it. 
it buffs wind attacks. So it just did 3,000 wind. It normally wouldn't do that much. <laughs> so Sildra is very good. Uh, Kryle, you need to heal everybody. Mostly yourself, but everybody. Alright, let's continue our summoner display, and let's actually do double summon. Oh god, not do that. <sighs> so these things have roulette, do they? They just got made it to the top of my shit list. So we have two different in attacks that Odin can perform. Now, I want to say the difference is it checks if the enemies are immune to instant death or not. If they're not immune to instant death, he uses Zantetsuke. Which cleaves all enemies in half. If the enemy is immune to instant death, he will instead use Gungnir, which throws the uh, the spear that is actually the you know, the real mythological Odin's uh, powerful weapon that never misses. Uh, everyone knows that story. I don't know why you have to go into detail, HP. Anyway, and fittingly, we're gonna show off the final one against one of these things. Bahamut. It's not the old, uh, final summoning, but it's the final summoning. I think it's the strongest summoning. Uh, we do have a, at least one more to get, but we'll get, or well, two more. Anyway, we'll get to that. Deals major damage to all enemies with white hunt energy. In fact, let's also actually, 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 let's start off by showing Gungnir, because I'm pretty sure this guy's immune to instant death. And let's do Bahamut. Gungnir, here we are. That's a fair amount of damage. <laughs> and then Mega Flare. That's also a fair amount of damage. In fact, Gungir did more damage. What the heck? Okay, survive. I have the wrong staff clip, it'll be okay. Now, if you notice MP-wise, Odin takes 24, Sildra takes 16, um, with the gold hairpin, of course. So, Sildra is actually the most cost-effective due to the air knife. Gungnir is fantastic for bosses, uh, for single, single, I think a single target. Um, but, oh boy, magic pot. Can I not take off the magic pot? Fortunately, it looks like my two sum, uh, people with uh, speed are likely to go first. So let's just spam Sildred and get the heck out of the way. So yes, Sildred's going to come and help and save us. Fantastic. Bart's Master Berserk. I think that was the... No, no, it's not the end. Oh, Equip Axe, I think, is the last one. Now, Berserk, unlike other uh, passives, Freelancer doesn't absorb Berserk automatically. So you don't have to worry about Berserking yourself for eternity. <laughs> so, very quickly, switch over, and very quickly throw him an elixir, and pray he doesn't need another one. 
Yeah, yippee, okay. <laughs> and yay! Summoner and Red Mage level 3. Oh god, I'm already on Red Mage level 3. Magic level 3. So yeah, Trial might actually master Red Mage. That's sad. Also hilarious. A good thing, granted. But... I mean, hey, if I'm still getting ability points, I might as well put it towards something, right? Uh, Soldier. I like how it's called Thunderstorm, but it's actually wind-based. Oh, hello, uh, Liquid Flame. Now, technically speaking, dual casting Shiva would probably be, uh, Tick. I'm gonna just compare them, actually. We'll see if the weakness to ice over, uh, is better than the, uh, weakness to wind. Or, I mean, the, um, the power of the wind. And I think I'm gonna find out that Soldier is better, unless he's immune to one. Nope, Soldier's better. You go, Bartz. Kick his butt. Because that was a lot of damage. There we go. Are we done yet? Floor 23. I actually don't remember how many floors there are. 24. Kind of an accident, but okay. I should be afraid, shouldn't I? It tried Sunset Suka and it failed. Why did it try Sunset Suka? It shouldn't have even tried it. Just in case this has any earth magic, I'm getting off the ground. I don't trust this. Okay, it died. I don't remember the Bander Coral. I do not at all remember what it does. But it's a stylized boss. Oh, floor 25. Apparently there's more. Well, now I need to pop the elixir on myself. Monsters! Yeah, yippee. Okay. Awesome. Master to cook katanas. Avis killer. Probably should be paying attention to what these things are dropping. A bow that's affected against Avis's. Hmm. Interesting. Wait a second, I just realized something. Can't you equip the Magis Rod? You can't equip the Magis Rod. Okay, so Magis Rod is great for being able to. Because I want to say it actually powers all of us, it, it should include wind. If I'm not mistaken, I could be very well mistaken. Okay. Let's 
go back over here. Money. Nice. Let's see if it still does 3,000 apiece. If it does, then the magic squad is staying on Lena. Yeah, it does. So wind is countered in the magic squad's elemental buff. I kind of managed to kill the first one because Bart's went first. I don't know how Bart's went first, but, you know, hey. More power to him. So, are we there yet? Now, is it 30 floors? I think it might be 30 floors. Get him, Barts. Jesus. You know, if you give a Berserker dual wield and they still, they go eat. Okay, this is different. A Bandit Portal again. I'm just going to do my usual. I'm already floating, so if, again, if it has Earth Attacks, I won't be bothered. Critical Attack. Ow. There we go. So much for it being a boss. There we go. Oh, hey. Hear you. Is this the Windrick that saved you? What's it doing on top of this tower? Hear you. What are you doing? He says he wants to help you. Hear you! There is a thing we were told the other day, uh, during one of the other episodes, that kind of hinted at this. About dying dragons. Not. It's not as emotional as Soldra, but it's still... Also, Bards, get off the edge there. Lana, here you knew he didn't have much longer to live. That means, in the forest, we saved me. It seems he came to this tower so he could use the last of his strength to help you. How are you? What do you mean, Mother's not going to make it? Dear, the doctor did his best. It seems the only thing that can cure her is a Windrix tongue. It's an oddly specific cure. Lena! Where are you going with that knife? I certainly don't mean to. Stop! Sigh. I'll go. Princess Lena, kill him 
and you kill the last of the moon trees. What's more, the queen's mother, the queen mother, has always cared deeply for you. Will you still cut out his tongue? I don't know that this choice means anything, but I'm a little bit honest and just say now. Princess, your father used to come here every day, just as conflicted as you are now. But perhaps you made the right decision. Mother. The wind drake here you became a phoenix and entrusted his strength and soul to mother. See the summon monster, Phoenix. Hear you. Thank you. So, yeah. Revives Kaled party member up to full health. Triggers flames of rebirth, which attacks all enemies with fire. Uh, that says revives on Kaled member. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's supposed to be an K or A. No, it would have to be a KO because it wouldn't make sense to be an. That is, that's weird. But yeah, no. See, their base costs are extreme. Phoenix is 99 normally. Uh, fortunately, it's lower, but yeah, no. This whole scene is showing one of the reasons that Lena has such a connection with dragons is that she did ultimately end up choosing to give up her mother for the life of the last dragon. And here you knew it. Here you understood that. Like, dragons are intelligent. That kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I feel that here you put himself to protect her as much as he could because of that. Understanding her sacrifice. Not just with the for poisoning herself to protect him, which is why, probably why she poisoned herself to protect him. But anyway, so we have done everything that we can in the desert here and obtained all but one of our summon monsters. Hilariously, we actually spent all episode looking for summon monsters. I don't know what to think about that. Um. There is one last thing I want to do, and this won't take but a second. It's... Oh, do I need the, do I need the black chocobo to get there? there sh I should have used the black chocobo to get there. Um, I just gotta figure out where it is. It should be up here, though. should be over here and I didn't need it but it's a very good thing I chose to use it so welcome to more uh, I am going to see you see there's a house down here now in the original version I did go down there but it's locked but in world 3 you can get through here I'm gonna quick save What do we have here? Getting this far means you must be very brave. Or else, just very lucky. I'll let you decide which it is. Take your brave, take what's on the crate on the left. But if you're a coward, take what's in the one on the right. What will it be? Well, this is a choice of two items. Actually, I'm going to say here specifically. You have a choice between the chicken knife and the brave blade. We're going chicken knife. And you only get one or the other. The whole thing vanishes. Now, why the chicken knife? Well, let's go to Ferris, because Ferris is the one with the dagger for whatever reason. Uh, can Ferris equip the chicken knife? Yes. A 
Uh, strange knife that gets sharper the more the wielder runs from battle. Can induce scram. So, the other weapon is the Brave Blade. Now, I don't know if this is the case in this version, but it is the case in the earlier versions, in the older versions of the game. It counts from the moment the game is started. It does not care about what you're running from or where you're running. It counts from the start of the game until you get here, and it you know, continues counting otherwise. Because as you choose not to run or run, uh, the weapons are affected. The Brave Blade, it cuts in damage every time you run from battle. So you have to do a fleeless run in order to get the Brave Blade and it, keep it at full power. As you can tell by the things that I've run into, for example, x -Death Soul, Shield Dragon, uh, Skull Eater, a lot of those are mean that you either, oh well, Jack and Apes, it means that you either have to not go for those items or be very insanely lucky. And I'm just, it's one of the reasons I always go for the chicken knife, because then at least if I'm running from battle, I'm powering up the chicken knife. Now, I hadn't run enough to power the chicken knife that much, but as you, if you end up having to run from a lot of battles, it gets stronger. I think it's one attack power per battle, and it gets very, pretty strong for a dagger. Um, and as it says, it can trigger scram, but that's what makes it a great weapon for things like dance, because dance ignores that um, because it doesn't, it doesn't invoke fight but you can still use the attack power it's another weapon that's good for um, what's it called uh, goblin punch as well because goblin punch again it uses the attack power but not the actual effect of the knife so if you buff it up it's great for blue mages um, so yeah that's, that's the chicken knife so when we come back, we're going to actually start doing the next dungeon, because I haven't... I, this whole like past two episodes, almost, it feels like, have been nothing but side stuff. Also, I'm probably going to go and maybe do a little grinding. Do I need to do some grinding? Looking, looking at... Uh, level 35 and 34, I think we're actually good now. Doing the fighting we've been doing has actually caught us back up. Everyone's at 1,000 HP. Yeah, I think we're all right. So we probably don't need to do any grinding. If I do, it would be to master Red Mage. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. i um, kind of running out of jobs to switch everyone with. But, uh, yeah, so we'll just, uh, I guess, head on to the next dungeon then. And until then, we hope to see you again. Later. Later.